Finally, this is the longest time we've been without a Dialogic release, but 1.3 is finally out, and in this video I want to talk a little bit more about the development and not so much about the changelog like I did in the previous ones, but I will be doing a changelog video probably next week or sometime in the future. When I started Dialogic I had a few things in mind, but I wasn't really thinking about the future of the plugin, so I was a little bit playing by ear, improvising and seeing how things grew. Then when I first got some contributions from Tom and I started to see a lot of positive feedback, I wanted this plugin to be easier for people that don't really want to code because I noticed that most people who make visual novels or narrative heavy games are not programmers, they are usually writers or artists. But with that in mind I set my mind to just try to make the best plugin for making conversations in Godot. Of course, I do have a full-time job, also handle this YouTube channel and it's hard to find the time to work on it. But nonetheless, I was able to always save a couple hours per week to work a little bit here and there on the plugin and also try to build an actual game with it. My goal at the beginning was to make this tool so I can build games faster, but I ended up working more on the tool itself rather than my games, which it's fine, I enjoy making tools, but I feel like I have to go back a little bit, continue working on the game and see how it feels to work with the logic in a bigger project. I was very lucky that people liked the plugin and started contributing to it because suddenly I wasn't alone working on it, which boosts your motivation a lot. You have better reason to opening it every day and improving it. And these people started to contribute really good features to the plugin, which some of them I'm not even sure if I was able to make them in the first place. All the drag and drop, hotkeys, uh, a lot of complicated stuff we had to implement from the beginning and Without the help of these people, or these people directly implementing the entire feature themselves, it would have been impossible for me to make that logic what it is now. So I really owe it to all of the contributors. And after a while of contributing to it, we are all starting to arrive to the same conclusion. The codebase for the logic is starting to get a bit massive, so I already tried a couple times to simplify things and I wasn't that successful. Since I started improvising at the beginning, I didn't plan ahead on what the structure of the plugin should be and it got out of hand really quickly, especially for newcomers, seeing what the code does and trying to edit a small part of it might be a little bit difficult. So I hope that in future versions, especially 1.4, we can keep improving not only the features of the plugin in itself but the code so that people can contribute easier and we can also implement features faster. The current version of Dialogic is mostly what I had in mind at the beginning. The timeline editor, the variables, the characters, the theme editor, all those features are working, they are very functional and I think it's the time to start thinking again about all of those and try to take them to the next level. So expect also some improvements in the character editor and how you interact with the logic. At the moment a lot of people really want to interact with the code part, so they want to generate procedural NPCs, procedural timelines with conversations and other features like that. And it's a bit difficult or tricky to get them right now. You can do it, but it's not ideal. So that's also another part that I want to improve. I want to make a proper Dialogic API so it's easier to communicate with it and also integrate in your existing games or extending some parts of the editor. If the video is published, that means that you can already download the version 1.3 from the Asset Store or from GitHub. So go ahead and try the new features. You have the built-in documentation, custom events, UI editor translation, voice support, more audio settings, new saving system, and many, many, many more. Feel free to support the project on Patreon because this is not only helping me, but also other contributors to make that logic the best plugin for Godot. And expect the changelog video coming soon. And I hope to return also to some tutorials. Let me know if there's something in particular that you might be interested in and I will try to make it. Bye bye.